Hey guys, Bing here. Um, yes, uh, previously we modeled this building and together with all these columns. So today I'm going to show you a different way to model these columns. Okay, so uh, instead of instead of uh, create a new mass to place place a column, uh, today we're going to place this column onto the uh, the, the building mass with with an uh, offset. Okay, so let's start. So first, I'm going to delete all these columns, and also I'll just uh, isolate this mass hi. Okay, so now select this mass, edit, and uh, divide surface. I'll hide the uh, top and bottom surface, and I'll select um, all these four surfaces change the U grid to 2 okay so and change the V grid to uh, maximum spacing so for example now I need a okay so now select one of this uh, surface and then check the node so now go create component so this is a column we did uh, yesterday and if I place it on this node and you can see all uh, these columns uh, placed onto the, the surface of the, uh, the building so what we are going to do is we, we're just going to offset this column uh, okay so let's let's edit so tab select one of the column edit family and uh, so first I'm going to show you uh, we try uh, I'll try to offset it uh, directly but uh, it won't work uh, I'll show you why okay so I'll delete this column first um, I'll temporarily hide this uh, point one and three so I can pick this point okay and oh, oh, sorry I'll also hide the, the profile so now we can place a point from from um, from this point okay so so point draw work plan set work plan so I'm not sure which work plan I'm going to place I'll just guess okay P place it on this work plan okay and place the point okay and then I'll drag it uh, maybe this way so this will be the offset. I'll create a OFS offset and OK and OK. Um, and uh, I'll place another one to a work plan set work plan and this work plan pick place it and then drag this point. I'll link that uh, parameter as well. Okay. So now these two point um, so this will be the offset so from the building face to the column location and then we need another one so because we need three for this a uh, uh, three profile for the column so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just select these two oh, sorry not control C CC copy and then select this point uh, that uh, place uh, pick new host and face okay and now so as you can see if I drag this so this this point will follow this point so now I'll place this at in, at, in the middle of this line so top in 0 0.5 so and I'll also uh, HR so show everything and then I'm going to uh, delete this uh, circle I'll create a new one here uh, sorry uh, reference circle draw on work plan set work plan pick the work plan draw a circle radius and link the radius okay so um, I'll do another two sorry I need another two I'll delete this one so reference circle or Draw a work plan, set work plan, and circle radius. Another one, circle radius. 
So now we can create this uh, column. And uh, let's load this into the uh, project. And uh, it disappears. Now don't worry. So if you place anything there, escape. And uh, wait, still not showing. No, that's fine. I'll place another one. Maybe here, here, and escape. Still not showing. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, sometimes when you load a adaptive family in your mode project, so all your adaptive family will disappear. Um, usually, you, you can just place another adaptive somewhere and they will come back. Oh, something's not right here. Uh, they are still not they are not happy. Hmm, interesting. But uh, if I try to surface, it's gone. I don't know. Anyway, let's create a new one. Okay, so one, two, three. Ah, they are there. So you can see it says our uh, identical items. So this is. Uh, anyway, let's pretend they are gone. Okay, they are not there. Just pretend. And let's have a look of this column. This column is actually um, offset in the wrong direction. Okay, so what, what we can do is maybe we can select this point. So that's a rota uh, rotation. Uh, so maybe we can change for 90 degree, maybe or maybe negative 90. Let, let me just guess, okay? So same this one. If I no, I'll temporarily hide the adaptive point, so it's easier to select this point. Negative 90. Okay, so let's try again. So even you can create a parameter, rotation parameter. See, it's gone again. So they they just like every time you so what you can do actually let's just finish this mess see it's they are oh, finally and then go back edit the family again so now we can see all these columns i think it's okay but but uh if you look carefully so here on the the ground level they are all like um Offsetting. Let me just change the offset a little. Let's increase the. Click on this, not this one, this, and the edit type. So and then, let's increase maybe four point five meters. Apply, and OK. So, the ground level. So actually, you can see they are not. Um, the direction is not right, so it's going that way instead of go that way. And uh, and if we look at the top, even it goes that way instead of that over there. So and also each um, columns looks like um, they are uh, offsetting to a different uh, direction, so which will make it very hard to even even you can create a, a rotation parameter for each individual column. I don't think it's easy to fix this. Let's let me just try on this side. Okay, so one, two, three. And if I click on repeat, and let's have a look of these columns. Um, Still, they are rot so these ones okay, but if you go look at the top, there are, uh, it turns like 45 degree that way. So it's not very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a different approach. Okay, so. So now I'll just delete this column again, and uh, so 
I'm going to show you how to control the direction. So make sure the column, the offset of the column, the direction of the column uh, is perpendicular to the to the face of the building. Okay. So what we are going to do is we're going to create uh, select these three points. Okay, and copy. So we now now we have um, six. So one, two, three. I'll make this four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then um, this one. Select these two point spline reference line. Same these two spline reference line and these two spline reference line. Okay, so now let me temporarily hide these two points as well as this one. And then I'm going to pick this point and let me see if I can pick new host and place this point on here. Okay, so pick new. Yes, I'll pick, I'll place it on this reference, uh, reference, reference line. But looks like this point go up there. So that's fine. I'll see if I can change to zero. So this one go down here, but we need to rotate, see this profile we probably need to, instead of uh, using the this vertical work plan of this point, we're going to use horizontal. So I'll just um, maybe, I'll just delete it, okay? So it's easy to just uh, create a new one. So reference circle work plan set, pick this uh, horizontal work plan and place it here in the radius and and link that to the radius parameter. So now we have one. So because this point is offset from this one, and so which means in this line, so this is uh, adaptive point uh, three, I believe, three and four, this phase, this, this line um, is close to, very close to, uh, the, the surface of the wall, okay, so which means it will be perpendicular to the wall surface. So now uh, let's repeat and uh, actually I'll see if I can copy, okay, so select this point together with this CC, copy it to here and select this one, place new holes, place it here, yes we can. So now I'm going to delete this, delete this, and delete this. So now we have two profile here. So I'm going to, oh, sorry, copy another one. So CC and place new host on here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we select this point, just place it uh, one, typing one, so it will placed onto this point and this one as well so um, one and this one one so now we have three profile create form okay so and uh, let's try this one okay so load this back into the project um, it I think it will disappear again so yeah, that's fine. Let's do it. So create component. So this time we will need to place six points. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay, so looks like uh, round direction. That's fine. Let's do it again. So this time I'll do it this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, again, um, mm, let's try a flip. Not doesn't work. 
uh, I have no idea. Edit family. So um, let me try instead of that way offset. Mm, oh, hang on. Maybe we can try this. So this one edit type. So we have this offset. Maybe I'll type in negative. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now if I click it and repeat. So now you can see all the column. See? Perpendicular to the face. Same. Yeah. So that's exactly what we want. And also, of course, this one, maybe uh, we don't need it, just delete it. Okay, so let's place uh, the rest of them, just comp component one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, repeat. And maybe delete this one. I'm not sure about this, but I'll leave it for now. So yeah, so and uh, this surface can nodes and as well this one as well and nodes and then create component. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and repeat and maybe delete this one. Um, yep, and the last one. So component. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and repeat. Yeah, maybe delete this one. So now we have all the column placed on the building mass. And the benefit of this method is um, so once you, so for example if you ch if you adjust this building mass so for example if I um, I'll scale this top so it's uh, scale what scale I so I'll make it bigger and not only the building shape change the column will follow oh. That's crazy. Anyway, um, that's it. So, HR. So, this is uh, another method to uh, model the columns. So, without one extra mass, mass. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.